auxiliary power unit number two is uh, up and running, that uh, providing the hydraulic power to the vehicle. Primarily for the uh, aero surfaces that become active after Endeavour uh, re-enters the Earth's atmosphere, that uh, the first effects of the atmosphere are being felt would be felt uh, about 400,000 feet in altitude. Uh, at a range of about 4,400 nautical miles from the Kennedy Space Center out over the Pacific Ocean. Just under 30 seconds from the deorbit burn. Propulsion officer reporting two good engines on the deorbit burn. Guidance and uh, guidance navigation and control reports uh, good control on the vehicle. The result of this uh, 2 minute 45 second uh, deorbit burn will place Endeavour in a 190 by 23 nautical mile orbit. Putting the low point of the orbit out over the Pacific, that's where Endeavour will begin feeling the effects of the upper reaches of the Earth's atmosphere, a point known as entry interface. That uh, point of entry interface uh, will come in a little under 33 minutes from now with touchdown one hour and four minutes away. Sunset on the East Coast, Endeavour headed home to uh, return to the Kennedy Space Center and the launch site uh, from which it departed back on March 11th. Endeavor Houston, good burn, no trim required. Endeavor copy. Thanks, Jim. Endeavor is uh, headed home, back to the Kennedy Space Center, the uh, 21st mission of Endeavor. With uh, the successful end to the uh, deorbit burn, the uh, next step uh, after the after the burn will be to maneuver Endeavour to orient the nose forward for the entry sequence.